Anna. And I'm Matt Hanna. And this is Horror Hour with the Hannas. And welcome to Movie Rec Monday number two. This is our new mini series that we're doing every other Monday, first and third Mondays of the month specifically, where we will be giving you some recommendations for some horror movies that you should watch. It's going to be a nice little 15 minute, no spoiler review, please go watch this type of Yep. Type of beat. So for Movie Rec Monday, number two, uh, it's my pick. Matt picked the first. I picked the second. We will be discussing Creep. Creep is a 2014 film directed by Patrick Bryce in his directorial debut from a story by Bryce and Mark Duplass. And the film stars both of them. And they're the only two actors on screen for this film. And is it... Considered found footage? Yes. Uh, the genre classification is found footage and psychological horror film. Okay. it's it, it doesn't have that same found footage feel, maybe because it's like framed better. It's not like shaky cam running around. It's more like, I don't even know what I would call it. No, it is found footage. I just like, I'm, I well, don't even think of it that I'm way. I'm going to explain why. Okay. With the back of the box synopsis. A young videographer answers an online ad for a one-day job in a remote town to record the last messages of a dying man. When he notices the man's odd behavior, he starts to question his intentions. That's right. Okay, so it's actually... He is like a videographer recording this content. It's not like a random bitch in the woods kind of thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You better not be talking shit on, uh, what's it called? (laughs) I can't can't even think of the name right now. Blair Blair Witch. Witch. No, I'm I'm just saying it's like stylized because it's... A professional. Yes, understood. Video okay. man. I could not remember. I like this movie. It is so good. Um, but a lot of people haven't seen it because it was never in theaters and it was released in 2015 on video on demand and then globally was released on Netflix later that year. So it only ever got like a Netflix and video, straight to video release. Gotcha. So not a lot of people got to hear of it. I like Mark Duplass. He was in like a show I was watching. What show was that? I couldn't remember where I know him from. It was the Mindy Project. So oh, okay. not like a good show. But, but no, he but, his name, he's like a famous person. I just, I didn't know him, but I know a lot, other, a lot of other people knew him. Yeah. And I really like him. I think he's really funny, really clever. You probably recognize him from Safety Not Guaranteed though. That was the oh my time God. travel movie. I forgot about With that Audrey movie. With Plaza. Yeah. Oh my God. That Wow. That went right out of my head. You really liked that movie. That was good. Too. I yeah. liked that. I completely forgot that movie existed. So I really like him. I think he's really funny. He does like awkward very well. And so that is part of what he brings to this that I really enjoy. So why you should see this movie, why don't you kick us off, Matt? It's very funny while also being scary. Mm-hmm. I'll also say it has the vibes of someone making a YouTube video because it's just two dudes that wrote it together and went and filmed it. Mm-hmm. So it's like extreme low budget, which I think really adds to the charm and like the uncomfortableness of it. Yeah, it is. I like a f- found footage that's like it should be low budget. It's almost like, it should have that feel. Can I call it a vanity project? Is that... A reasonable way to call it where it's like we wanted to make something so the two of us just got in a house rented an airbnb like two famous people or like people in the industry and and made something for themselves i think that's really cool i think this is also kind of like believable like i think a lot of the discomfort in this one feels like it could be a real real people real things that you're encountering like i work with clients and I go into people's homes and sometimes you just encounter shit that you did not have on your bingo card for that day and I kind of get that vibe from this too like our main character Aaron rolls up just to record this guy who's passing away and he just gets way more than he bargained for and the guys he's trying to, he's trying to like leave a recording for his family right Was yeah that the, okay yeah you know what it actually reminds me of if you liked the intro to barbarian with Skarsgård it's basically that but for 90 minutes like, you're just not sure what is going on. And there's like, is this guy nice? Is he a threat type mm-hmm. thing? Yeah, I think that's all. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think it's just really fun. And right from the beginning, you're like, mm, interesting. And then that and just, it really just leaves you guessing for the whole time. You're just stretched out. Like, is he out? just yeah. like a nice guy who's just weird? Or is it something else? Yeah. And I think that that's really fun. And it adds... 
you know, a lot of cool tension. There's a lot that is clearly happening like off sides of the camera. So then it kind of like leaves you tense for like, when is the camera gonna turn and show me something scary? Or will it turn and show me something scary? I think that's really fun. And I think it leaves you feeling really uneasy. Agreed. So where do you put this on your scaro meter out of five? I'd probably give it a three out of five. I do think it does rack it up the tension and gives you that unsettling, uneasy feeling, which I've said many times is one of my favorite forms of horror, if not my favorite. Um, but I wouldn't say it's the most unsettling or uneasy movie that I've seen. It doesn't make me feel like I'm going to throw up from it. <laughs> I which I've had before. It does, though. There are scenes, one that I specifically remember that made me feel like I like needed to go somewhere else while watching it. Like I was just like, I can't look at this. You know, it's not not scary. It's it's more that it just it it keeps the camera on something for too long, um, and you're just like like what's gonna happen? It's like almost you're, you're on the edge of your seat to mm-hmm. the point of like I want to walk out of the room, and that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And the performances in this are just so fun. Like I like I said, I just really like Mark Duplass. So the fact that he wrote it and starred in it just makes it really enjoyable to me. Critically, it doesn't have like a lot of reviews, again, because it didn't have this wide release. Small potatoes. Yeah, so Rotten Tomatoes, it only has 31 reviews, but it has a 90%. We take that. The sequel has less reviews, but has a hundred percent. The sequel is also really good. Yeah. And are they I, uh, they're both still on Netflix, right? Sorry to skip ahead. Creep is still on Netflix. Okay. So where you can watch it would be Netflix, and then it's on Amazon for two ninety nine. But like, if you have Netflix, it's there. Free baby, perfect. So I would definitely recommend doing that. But yeah, ninety percent for thirty one reviews. Not a lot of reviews, but like, we'll take the ninety. IMDb from you know our normal folk gave it a six point three out of ten. How do you feel about that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're just... This this is just like uh, people watching it, not critics. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a little slow moving and people have bad attention spans. It's found footage, which turns people off. And it's horror, which turns people off. Yeah. Like, so, I don't know. Yeah, sure. 6.3, I think it's better than that. Especially for what it is for two people on a shoestring budget. Oh, I just, certainly put it above a 6.3. I love this movie. Yeah. I, I'm a snob. I don't typically take audience reviews to I heart am. in any way. I mean, we were just watching The Curse, which is Nathan Fielder's new show, and audience gave it like a 35%. And it's like easily one of the coolest shows I've watched in a while. Yeah. So, like, I'm a critics guy. I also, for like, for a horror found footage, I feel like 6.3 is pretty good. Yeah. It's a good movie. I really enjoyed it. I've only ever seen it once. Um, I've seen it a couple times and I made other people it's watch you made it because I was is, like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's another way to describe this. This is one of those ones where you're like, guys, you got to see this. And you just like sit down at your buddy's house and force somebody to watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you can watch this one if you're not like obsessed with horror or anything. For because sure. If that's not your favorite genre, I think it can still definitely appeal to you. Yeah. Honestly, even not scary. It might be even like a 2.5 for like non-horror viewers. So critically, again, because it didn't have this like huge wide release, there is a lot less to say about this or to find like critic quotes. Um, one critic said it was a smart, oddball take on found footage horror. Creep is clever and well acted enough to keep viewers on the edge of their seats. I totally agree. This movie is very oddball. It's very quirky. It's very silly. It's and a good mix. it is clever. It doesn't go where I thought it was going. That's for damn sure. And it's, like I've mentioned, the acting is fun. It feels believable. They feel like real people who could have been thrown into this situation. So I totally agree. Which is something that's really critical for successful found footage horror movie. And I feel like that's why I haven't necessarily loved like a ton of found footage I've seen. Because I don't always find it believable. But this one feels really grounded in this like weird reality. Agreed. That is kind of all I found. There aren't like a lot of critic reviews or anything for this because, again, no wide release. So that's going to happen. But that just goes to show that like if we found this and we enjoyed it that much from like this small little shoestring budget movie that you should definitely watch it. It's also short. It's 77 minutes. It is 
an incredible way to spend your 77 minutes. So absolutely no reason not to get on Netflix and uh, go watch this movie, in my opinion. Like, yeah. So And then watch the sequel, because you're going to want to. And the sequel, the vibes are actually very different. It's so funny how different they are, but they have the same spirit. Um, yeah. I, I can't really describe the sequel whatsoever without kind of spoiling this one. So I just can't, but maybe one day we will. That is all we got for Creep. Definitely go watch it. Like we said before, if you love it, message us. Tell us that you love it. And if you didn't, I don't care. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>